Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're starting a new series on some additional examples on problems dealing with power, energy, and work. So in this case, in this first example, we're trying to figure out in these four cases when the kinetic energy is decreasing. To figure that out, we have to go back to the basics, and that's always a good idea for any example or any problem in physics, is go back to the basic definitions. We know that the kinetic energy is defined as one-half mv squared, which means that since the mass of an object doesn't change, only the velocity has an effect on how the kinetic energy will change. If the velocity increases, kinetic energy will increase. If the velocity decreases, the kinetic energy will decrease. But since the velocity is squared, it doesn't matter if the velocity is positive or negative. So it's really the absolute value of the velocity. So let's take a look at each one of these cases and see if the velocity increases or decreases. So basically what we're saying is that the kinetic energy will increase when the absolute value of the velocity increases. So that's how we want to look at each particular case. So in the first case, we have an object that's falling down. So the velocity is getting larger in a negative sense because it's a negative direction. But since we have kinetic energy equals velocity squared, even a negative velocity squared becomes a positive quantity. And since the negative velocity increases, the kinetic energy must increase. So in this case, kinetic energy increases. So we don't have a case here where the kinetic energy decreases. In our second example, we have a satellite which is orbiting the Earth in a circular orbit. Since the orbit is circular, the magnitude of the velocity always stays the same. The direction always changes, but the magnitude of the velocity stays the same. So if there's no change in the velocity, there will be no change in the kinetic energy. So again, case two, we don't have a decreasing kinetic energy. How about case three? Here we're throwing a baseball out at an angle. Um, and so what we can say then at that point, and let me use a different color, that while it's in the air, it will have a velocity in the x direction, v sub x, and it will have a velocity in the y direction, v sub y. Now we know that for projectile motion, the velocity in the x direction doesn't change. So we know that this is going to be equal to constant. So the component in the x direction has no bearing on the kinetic energy, or at least the change in the kinetic energy. So since v sub x is always constant. But v sub y will change. As it's continuing along its path, and presumably this will be a parabolic path, the velocity in the y direction will continue to decrease as it's slowing down in the vertical direction. And since that component decreases, the total velocity will decrease, which means that if the total velocity decreases, well, I guess I should also put down that kinetic energy will decrease when the absolute value of the velocity decreases. So in this case, we know that the velocity decreases, so we know that the kinetic energy is decreasing right here. So kinetic energy decreases in this case. Here the kinetic energy will be equal to a constant since it's going around in a circular orbit. So let's call that constant. And finally, we're in an elevator and we see that the elevator is moving upward at a constant velocity. Well, if the velocity is constant, that means the kinetic energy cannot change. If the velocity is constant, the kinetic energy must be constant as well. So out of the four cases, there's only one, case number three, where the kinetic energy is actually decreasing. That's how it's done.